What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a spotlight effect in Procreate. In other words, I'm going to show you how to do a transparent gradient effect in Procreate. Now as you can see, I got a picture of a girl here. She's at her concert. She's singing on stage, you know, making her dreams a reality. But I drew this so I can show you guys how to do this kind of effect. Because you know, if you're watching a play or you're watching a concert or whatever, you know that there are spotlights, you know, at the top of the stage. So they're gonna be shining on the singer or the actor or whatever. That lighting effect is what I'm gonna show you guys how to do in Procreate. Now here's what I have in terms of layers. I did a sketch layer and a few layers for the audience. And then the usual layers I use for character illustrations. So when I'm doing this lighting effect, I want it to be on top of the line work. And I don't want to have to change the colors of my drawing. Because that's just extra work. So for this lighting effect, I'm going to make a new layer on top of everything. And now we need to draw in the direction of the light. What portions of the drawing do I want light to be shining on? Of course I could draw it in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a picture of a triangle. Okay, so we got a black triangle going on. And I'm going to change that color. Let's change it to like a blue. Okay, so now we got a blue triangle going on. Now I'm gonna adjust this triangle so it matches the direction of the light that I want showing on this character. So I'm gonna stretch it out to the top corner. I'm just gonna rotate it just a little bit. So that's the direction I want the light to be shining. So now we're gonna go to a new layer and we're gonna make it into a clipping mask layer. So we're gonna hit clipping mask and let's make this into white light. So I'm gonna select the color white and I'm gonna use my large airbrush and just draw in some white on the triangle. And now on that same layer, I'm gonna hit my magic wand tool that's up here. I'm gonna hit Gaussian blur. And now I'm gonna adjust it so it looks like there's a gradient going on and see that's looking pretty good and at this stage you can adjust the gradient because maybe you don't want that much light showing or you want more of a transition going on for this lighting effect but here's how to do it so I'm gonna hit the arrow tool and I'm gonna hit freeform I'm just gonna adjust it however like so so now that you got it how you want it we're gonna go up to our triangle tool and we're gonna select it. So we're gonna tap the thumbnail and hit select. And now down here, we're gonna hit invert because we're gonna select the outer portion of that triangle. And now back to our clipping mask layer. As you can see, it looks like it fills this entire canvas. We don't want it to do that because we'll be getting rid of this triangle later. So with our eraser tool up here, we're gonna make it a big brush and we're just gonna erase all the outer portions of the triangle. Well, obviously we won't see it. That's why I said we had to use a big brush. Okay, looks like we got them all. So now we're gonna deselect. We're gonna go back to our layers and we're gonna take clipping mask off. And now we're gonna take our triangle layer and make that invisible. And there we go. And if you want to make a series of lights like this with a whole lot of different colors, let's just say strobe lights. And then I'm going to slide this layer right and hit duplicate. And now we can change it to however we want. And then a way to change the color would be to go to the magic wand tool and hit color balance. And then we're going to hit this sun at the bottom. And since we used the white, I'm going to use highlights. And we can adjust it to see whatever color we want to use. Say yellow light or maybe a blue one. And then all you gotta do is keep copy and pasting until you get the amount of lights that you want. But yeah, that's how you do a lighting effect in Procreate. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.